Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toasty Bros. And today we're gonna be taking a look at this Acer laptop from Amazon. You can also get it some other places and it's 400 bucks and it'll game. This is the Acer Aspire 5 with a Ryzen 5 5500U and it is $400. And the reason we got this is because, well, it compares very well to a laptop we just took a look at with an older Ryzen APU that wasn't great for gaming, but with the 5500U being a six core 12 threaded processor and good Vega graphics, I think it's gonna be a big step up. Before we dive into the benchmarks, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Corsair and their new RMX Shift series of power supplies, which brings a revolutionary change to the power supply market. The RMX Shift series moves the fully modular power supply connectors to the side of the power supply for easier access and cable management. It also features ATX 3.0 support for the latest RTX 40 series GPUs, an 80 plus gold efficiency rating, 100% industrial grade Japanese capacitors, and a 10 year worry free warranty giving you peace of mind for your gaming or work station PC build. To learn more about this game-changing power supply, check the link down below. And big thanks again to our friends at Corsair for sponsoring today's video. So this laptop doesn't exactly have a dedicated graphics card, but it does have Vega graphics built into the Ryzen 5 5500U, which is a six core 12 thread. So we're hoping to get some pretty decent performance, but we are gonna open it up. We're gonna kind of go over all the ports, see if it has like a backlit keyboard, see how the build quality is, check out the screen. And then we're gonna start downloading some games to see if we can actually get some esports games to work. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what's inside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break open this seal that says if the seal is broken, it, it just says, check it, the seal is broken. I don't know what that means. If What if I check it and it's broken? Who do I call? Ghostbusters? So we get a charger on the side of the laptop. This is a tiny little guy. So it's a light on charger, 45 watts. Wow. So pretty low Sipping wattage. Power. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely gonna be very power efficient, which, you know, what do you expect? It's a very, not low end laptop, but power efficient. It's not a gaming laptop, so it doesn't need a whole lot. I like that they include this. That's a two and a half inch bracket for like an SSD or a hard drive. Nice. Check that out, man. <laughs> The old privacy oh. filter. Here is our Acer laptop. This is, it looks so familiar. I feel like, you know, this reminds me of our HP in the other room. That's what it is. Just yes. sleek silver, very basic. It actually comes with some protective covering. Build quality's not bad. I always like this. It's like, mm. it's a soft spot. That's a little <laughs> soft spot. We're inside of this laptop now. I wanna talk about the ports on both sides because that's pretty important to quite a few people. On the right-hand side of the laptop, we don't have much. We have a Kingsington lock. We have some LED indicators. It looks like a USB 2, but it could be 3. And then a combo headphone jack. We actually have a full-size Ethernet jack, a full-size HDMI, two USB 3s, and then we actually have a USB-C, and then look at that charging port. It's so that's small. So tiny. It's not the headphone jack this time, I <laughs> promise. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a pretty thin laptop. They do brag about that on there. It has Wi-Fi 6 built in, so it a little bit of a newer laptop. I mean, clearly they're still making it new, so it's not super old or anything. This is freaky, what is this? Alexa is built in, thank goodness. But as you can see here, they brag about the Radeon graphics, which are Vega graphics, and then they got their 5000 series sticker. Now, does it have any charge from the factory? Now is that a, that, I think it's a 15.6 inch display. It looks like it's kind of big. Yeah. So it's either 15.6 or it's a 16 where it's a little bit wider than normal, but I, I'm gonna say it's 15.6. Let me verify. I'm, I'm just gonna guess, you don't need to look it up. It's 15.6. <laughs> so we'll see if it's actually a good IPS panel, if it's like one of those ones where it's really dim because IPS does take a little bit away from the brightness, the overall NITS. Oh, backlit keyboard. Ooh, a backlit keyboard came on right away. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if our laptop comes on. Acer. Nice. So yeah, we'll check out the overall brightness once we get into Windows and everything. I don't know if this has 11 or not. I feel like it should. It really should. I, I would hope so, but it might it really not. Should. That loading thing normally is Windows 10. Does, does that feels like, that, does that have 10 feels that, that, to it? That, 10 that, kind that's of vibes? 10 feels to it. Normally like Windows 10 will say Acer, but 11 will say like Dell quick. It just. Oh, that's 11. That's 11. Wow. So we were right. So it is Windows 11, just like we were saying the whole time. Yep. So that's really nice. I'm glad we're not having to do any upgrading later on or anything. Speakers work. We do have a webcam, we have a mic. So it definitely is an all-in-one laptop that's ready to go. But the real question is when you're on the go, will you be able to play your Fortnite, your Minecraft, your Valorant, your Warzone? Definitely not Warzone. Warzone. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get signed into Windows so we can go over like the RAM and stuff like that. Ryzen 5. 5500U, six core, 12 thread. And then we, ooh, only one ooh, stick, 3200 megahertz, eight kind of gigs. Now, I do know it's upgradable because we've done it before on this specific laptop, a 256 gig Western digital SSD. And then here's our Vega graphics. So let's see how much RAM it has. It has about half a gig dedicated to it, which theoretically you can dedicate more, but we're not gonna go into that. We're just gonna test it as is and we're gonna see how it does. What's the Salsa games? Woohoo! 
All right, guys, the first game we're going to be testing is good old Fortnite, and we are running pretty low settings here. We're on the performance preset, unlimited frame rate, 50% render scale, all on low, and we're struggling a little bit, and I think it has to do with the RAM configuration we're currently running. Um, we're almost maxing out the RAM that we have, only 8 gig single channel, and I think that's really what's going to hold us back here. And as long as we have a kit on hand, I'll have to check and see. I definitely think we'll do some revisiting with a RAM upgrade in this video because I think the performance will be drastically different because we're not even maxing out the iGPU right now. It's really getting bottlenecked by that single channel eight gigs. So if you're gonna go with this configuration, this laptop, it's definitely worth spending the extra money on another eight gigs of sodium DDR4, which is pretty affordable. It probably cost you another like 30 bucks. So um, yeah, look at everything just very slow to load in. That is normally a tell a telling sign that it's pretty RAM limited right now. But even, I mean, it's a, it, it's somewhat playable, not the most playable Fortnite experience once everything, oh God, come here. There you go, hollow brick. Not the most playable experience, but for a budget laptop, I mean, okay, now now it's getting a little bit worse. For a budget laptop, I mean, I, I'm kind of okay with the, the results, even though things, again, are very slow to load in. Um, yeah, I, I, I think the 16 gig RAM upgrade is almost essential if you're gonna do any sort of gaming on this thing. Having a bot battle. I feel like a bot right now, Jesus. Oh yeah! Wow, that, that, that was kind of fun. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Buddy guy. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look and see if I can find the RAM upgrade at, oh, you know what, never mind. There are people I need to defeat here. Oh, no! I couldn't defeat them. Let's go to Overwatch 2. All right, guys, well, I was gonna dive into the Overwatch testing, but just in the warm-up 720p right now, only getting like 30 or so FPS. I know there's so much more potential with dual channel memory that we're just gonna go ahead and just show you guys that this is what we're working with right now with the single. Let's go into the video quality here. 720p, we're at the 75% render scale, already at 720p, 60 FPS um, target, and yeah, low settings. It ain't gonna get much better than this. So um, I'm thinking we're gonna go ahead and do is upgrade the RAM. It'll at least be the right speed, 2666. The other kit we have on hand is 3200 megahertz, which is laptop only comes with 2666. We're gonna go ahead and add the 2666, see if that works out well, and then go from there. But we'll show you guys how to upgrade throughout the process. All right, guys, to upgrade this laptop is very straightforward. All you have to do is flip the laptop upside down and unscrew all these screws that are on the back. All you need to use is a PH1 Phillips bit to make sure it comes out without stripping any of the screws. Uh, there are a lot of them, by the way, so be patient. And once you do that, you're gonna wanna get a little spudger tool. Um, they sell them with iFixit kits, or you can just buy them on Amazon. This right here is a little plastic spudger that we have. Um, and pry one corner off and try to go all the way around if you can. When you do this, it'll allow the laptop back plate to just come right off pretty easily. It'll pop right off. And on the inside here, you can see that there is only one RAM slot. That means the eight gigs of RAM that's in this thing is soldered. So what we're gonna do is take this team group eight gigabyte stick, DDR4 3200 megahertz, and plop it in the empty slot like so. Um, once we plop it in, uh, we'll be sure to push down to make sure it locks into place. And from here, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is flip the laptop over, turn it on to make sure everything is good before you screw all those screws back in because you don't have to take it all apart again. As you can see right here, it worked for us. And we have 16 gigs at 3,200 megahertz ready to go on this laptop. And uh, yeah, I was actually surprised. The uh, RAM upgrade works perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and do the updated testing. It's so much more playable. There's definitely some stutter, but it feels so much more playable. 60 FPS, 80% render scale. I can live with this. Let's go ahead just for the fun of it. I wanna drop it down to native 720p. So native 720p, 80% render scale. Little better, not too bad. We are running at a pretty low resolution now, but um, definitely a little bit better. But yeah, I think this is just gonna be the peak of this laptop. It's $400 uh, with the RAM upgrade, um, just another eight gig stick, which we were able to get, by the way, to run at 3200 megahertz. So we were able to add an extra stick of memory with no problem. It definitely is acceptable experience because this laptop is definitely not primarily for gaming. And it may just standing right there. Got him. This thing coming down the stairs. Oh, he is. Hey, banana. Oh. Oh, you're done. Yeah, how about that tree? 
Hey, you. Oh, he's just running at me. Oh, well, I'll let that bot get a little too close. I don't know if that was a bot. That might have been a real person. I just kept missing snipes. All right, let's see what Overwatch 2 can do. All right, guys, so we're playing Overwatch 2, and I, it's it's March 31st, but I think they're just taking <laughs> April Fool's early because all the characters have big googly eyes. All right, well, I guess we'll play uh, Brigitte. So as far as settings go... It doesn't we, get much lower than this. Yeah, we're on like 720p, which isn't even the native res. Um, and yeah, I mean, like everything's pretty much set to like low. <laughs> it looks like Oh, wow, well, the FPS got... It looks crazy so, the, the, the graphics just look smooth. Yes, smooth. Everything's smoothed out. But, I mean, yeah, we're getting over 100 FPS at times. The milliseconds are a little high. Normally, like, on higher-end builds, we can get around 2 to 4 milliseconds. So I will say, this is dramatically better than I thought it was going to be because I was in the practice range and it was only getting, like, like 60, maybe. Let's, let's see what happens when we get out yes. here. Hello, Fling Fist. Look at your googly eyes, little buddy. Oh, come back down, little buddy. You're sleeping. You beach. God, the stupid Symmetri Demandalave turrets. I know I missed. They're really coming for you. Yeah, I'm like getting pushed by them. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not normal. It's supposed to be rally to me. <laughs> mace to the mace to the mace to the face! Their tank said, check yourself or wreck yourself. And then uh, their mercy said, moth formation, go. <laughs> but hey, I'm playing on a tiny laptop and the fact that we could have almost won means everything. The glimmer of hope that you could have won. Oh, oh, oh no, you know what? It's not over not now. Not yet. <laughs> That's too funny. Dude, can we get rid of these stupid turrets? Matt, we won an overtime. Woo! Wait, hold up one second. Woo! And yeah, look at that. You actually able to win on this gaming laptop. Even the performance is not amazing, you know, 720p. <laughs> it's so pixelated, but it is somewhat playable. Uh, yeah, after we've done the upgrades and everything, it's kind of a, you know, dual laptop where it can be used for gaming, but also good for office use. And look at all this craziness happening in Overwatch. Let's go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. Okay guys, we just got done benchmarking our laptop. We also upgraded and gave a little tutorial on how to do that and how to get inside the laptop. And overall, we think that this is a really good buy. It's much better than going with one of those no-name brand ones on Amazon. You can trust a company like Acer, especially with prime shipping. The only thing we recommend is upgrading it. And honestly, a lot of you are probably gonna want more storage too, so definitely upgrade an SSD while you're in there. Yeah, upgrading this thing for gaming is almost essential, especially with the stuff that's installed in this laptop. So if you wanna buy this laptop and upgrade it, check the links in the description down below. There'll be a fillings that will help us out. On screen here, you're seeing some other games that you can play on this laptop. Again, you're not gonna be touching AAA titles. You're really gonna be playing your Valorants and Rocket Leagues and games like that um, on this thing for the price point. But I think that's more than acceptable and it's a really good little office and school laptop as well. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye so now that we've upgraded this laptop, we've tested it and everything, we're going to be selling this at PCBros.Tech with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, laptops, and gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code TOSIBROS2 on checkout, you'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out. Drill scouts.